I am in Vegas finally in the room, not crying. Today's vlog is like my therapy session. I had a big meeting with TikTok. Under the lights, you catch my eye. I've never seen in slow motion. I can't look away. That left you made. Must be a king cold rendition. Hello everyone. I'm going to Vegas today. I have to leave in like 10 minutes. I just basically have no rhyme or reason when it comes to packing. I just throw everything in the general area of the suitcase and then I put it in there. Kind of tidy. Not anything too crazy. Also, no one gives a flying fork if your suitcase is organized. So if you're like me and sometimes you feel bad because your suitcase isn't organized and your friends is, literally no one cares except for you. So I don't know, just live your best life, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that. Always make sure you bring emergency and like liquid IV or prime or something to Vegas because it might literally save your life there. I have like four dress options because I'm a crazy person and I don't know exactly what the vibe is because I'm going with my family, but I'm also going to be with like I think hot guys and stuff. I need to look like a put together slut. If I'm going to look like a slut, does that make sense? Dress, jacket, cause it's gonna be cold. Then I need one normal outfit. Dress, dress, and then dress. So I have two slightly conservative dresses. The other two are slutty. Leggings, another tank top. I'm wearing a pair of leggings. Socks, Spanx, underwear leg warmer in case I want to be trendy and cool. Hairspray, hardly have any left. Hair shampoo, curling iron. Oh, I have one more dress that's in the mix, in the middle. PJs, bra, okay. Sweatshirt, heels. Chunky, normal, classy. I feel like I need one more like relatively normal person outfit. I guess if I have the leggings, I'm kind of Gucci. The PJs, phone charger. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side of way I am in Vegas, finally, in the room, not crying. I got so much done. Today, I had a big meeting with TikTok, which is actually really cool. I'm doing something really exciting with them next week that I can't wait to tell you guys. Then I did some work, and then I took a nap because, honestly, I was exhausted, didn't get much sleep last night. And then I finally got my video up. Wow, I really botched the nose contour tonight. I really like this contour stick, but the brush sometimes is a little rough. I feel like it takes my makeup off underneath, which I don't like. I'm honestly not in the mood to go out at all. And I feel bad because this is like, not a family vacation, but in a way it kind of is because I'm with my dad and his girlfriend's here and then Phil's here and whatnot, whatever. He like had a dinner plan tonight and it was last minute, don't get me wrong. But like, I couldn't go because I was working. Now it's like nine. 30 and I need to get food and I, I honestly just don't want to go out but I'm trying to convince myself that this is gonna be the night that I don't want to go out and then I man randomly meet the love of my life I'm just gaslighting myself into wanting to go out this hotel bathroom lighting is absolute ass so pray for me at least I have this like makeup mirror I do want to stay and just watch housewives but I'm like dude I'm in Vegas like go downstairs and like hang out 
with my family friends and like I don't, it's unlike me to not want to go out, but it's just like, ah, uh, I'm forking exhausted, bro. But I also like can't complain because I'm in Vegas and like, it's fun and my family's here. So whatever. And tomorrow's the IU game. That's why we're here is because my dad is like an insane IU fan and they are playing a basketball game tomorrow. So my dad and like all of his friends and a bunch of our family friends are here for the game. I'm just in my like, oh, I wanna get my shit together era. Like I don't wanna be a drunk, hungover idiot anymore. I am going to watch Housewives and we will chat soon. I am finally ready. I am wearing this Princess Polly dress I've worn to Vegas a million times. I'm wearing this blazer from Zara because it's freezing outside. And then these shoes are from Amazon Style, the store. And then my Prada bag and we're calling it a day. I honestly don't wanna go out at all and I'm in a bad mood, so slay. Hey guys, I'm in a bad mood. So I came back to the room and tried to go downstairs. I was in a good mood for like five minutes. And then, I don't know, I just like, Basically, I'm not in a good mood. And then on top of that, there's some other shit going on. So I feel like it's just all hitting me at once per usual, but it's fine. We'll be fine. I just, I think the world is telling me to stay in tonight, even though I got fully ready and dressed. It's that classic, not even halfway through Vlogmas breakdown. I feel like when I get in these moods, the best thing for me to do is stay like off social media and I guess like embrace the mood instead of fighting against it. I am trying to fight against it. I tried to fight against it. And then the whole time I was just like, am I about to cry down here slash like, I don't know why I'm like feeling the urge to cry. There's nothing like that uh, upsetting and I'm not a crier. I guess sometimes it just feels good. I've been on like a roll, like a good roll. I feel like I've just have been lacking sleep due to vlogmas exhaustion. I have a hard time letting myself like feel things and not feel guilty for feeling things or like right now my inner dialogue is you're in Vegas, you should get out there and like have fun and utilize whatever or spend time with A, B, and C. Like I feel guilty for feeling this way and not wanting to be out and like raging which is so weird. It's not only that, I'm not cry I'm not crying over that. Just having an off day, I guess. I started it so strong. My stomach also hurts because I had some of my dad's leftover chicken parmesan. It was forking so good, but damn, my stomach hurts like a bitch now. I feel like something I've been um, coming to terms with lately is like how much it hurts me when I like put so much time and effort into people and they don't, I guess, appreciate it the way that I would expect them to. But what sucks is like, I also understand I can't expect someone to react or feel a certain way just because that's the way I would. Today's vlog is like my therapy session. This is really bizarre. I don't do this like ever. Well, I feel like as I get older, I realize the amount of time and effort I put into people and like, genuine care and just people don't even like sometimes even notice or acknowledge it i'm almost like i feel like sometimes i'm almost like too reliable or like too loyal or too i don't that's not even a thing but like i feel like sometimes people take it for granted and like i don't know i definitely notice it i feel like this year is the year of realizing things as kylie jenner would say and like i just pay attention to who like who shows genuine care you know for me it breaks my heart coming to terms with the fact that some people just don't care about me the way I care about them. I'm so not the type to just like stay in a hotel room and like not go out. So it like, I guess that also kind of scares me why I'm like choosing to do that. It makes me sad. It does feel good to like speak what I'm thinking, I guess. Oh, just my promoter texting me. <laughs> now I'm like, I think I just need to take my makeup makeup off and do a face mask and just watch it. Moves, making moves, making moves.